Perking can be challenging, and while some do it in ways that are so annoying that seeing their awkwardly placed vehicle fills you with a quiet rage only subdued by the silent curse you will upon the driver that they're swallowed up by some eldritch horror, most of the time it's just bad luck. But if we take the time to reflect on it and accept our limited capabilities, we'll be able to find solace in a game like You Suck at Parking. Dive into a world of misshapen islands where you live out your dreams as a sentient car whose only desire is to thrust itself between the pillowy white lines of a parking space and stay there forever. Each island of this universe has theme-based collections of levels that will have you doing things like bouncing, boosting, getting tossed around by fans, finding out how magnets work, and even running from maniacal cops like you're playing a classic driver game. All of this while navigating the serpentine roads filled with all of your standard hazards like walls that blow you up or mines that blow you up, and sometimes giant swinging hammers that will, in fact, blow you up. You'll even face the greatest challenge anyone who has ever parked a car has ever faced. Other cars. But if you can navigate these numerous hurdles and find your way to the coveted parking spaces scattered throughout each map, you'll be able to slide right in and bringing yourself one step closer to victory. Of course, if you stop anywhere else before you make it there, that counts as parking. Bad parking. And you will indeed suck at parking. If you're successful at parking perfection, meaning you didn't die in the process of getting to each parking space, you're awarded with crowns for the level rather than those pathetic little hearts. These crowns unlock special mastery islands where the challenge ramps up to the point where it takes as much time to figure out how the hell to get to the goals as it does to actually execute on your acrobatic attenuation. As you complete each sadistic task of parking in a realm of pure chaos, you'll earn points that will level up your account and push you through the greatest experience in modern gaming. A season pass. That's right, your perseverance toward perfect parking prowess will be rewarded with unlocks for cosmetic items that you can't even have unless you pay another 10 bucks on top of this $20 game. But if you're not interested in the 50 items here, you can always go into the store and buy even more accessories and ornaments to toss onto your boxy parking pal. You may wonder why you'd ever need to make this vehicle visually appealing. Well, that's for the exciting competitive world of online multiplayer. You may not be able to play with your friends at the moment, but you can always jump into a lobby and wait for a random assortment of people to join in and begin an even more chaotic romp through an island of deadly parking peril. Now it's a race to find and place your car's ass upon each of the available spots before your opponents. Once you do, you can spend the rest of the allotted time marveling at the failure of others from your godlike perspective of victory. After four rounds of enlightened stopping, a winner is crowned and XP is disseminated just like the single-player campaign to continue your persistent crawl through a season pass of paywall glory. You suck at parking. They suck at monetization. Games about parking cars in dramatic fashion aren't new or original, but You Suck at Parking's use of tight controls, unique and well-designed puzzle maps, and generally fun aesthetics puts it well ahead of the majority. The campaign's progression through increasingly more complex and challenging themes is quite a bit of fun, and the multiplayer, while pretty limited in its scope, is a welcome change of pace if you choose to do it. However, even though I sometimes let dodgy monetization slide a little, it feels really weird in this instance. I don't understand why there's a launch day season pass that costs 50% of the overall game price or why there's another $50 of microtransactions in the store on top of that, or why the vast majority of the available cosmetics are all locked behind that paywall. We've come to expect stuff like this with Blizzard games or other skeezy developers and publishers, but within a self-published indie title from a company with little else to show, it just seems ridiculous. But because You Suck at Parking is a solid game at its core, mostly suffering only from the very poor launch day decisions, I'm giving it the abbreviated score of OK. If you'd like to see more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to subscribe and check out my other abbreviated reviews.